Hello and welcome to another video from Miles Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we are looking at the 2016 release by Hasbro from their Star Wars Forces of Destiny series of figures. Now, Forces of Destiny was a animated, a 2D animated uh, web series it started off as, um, which was all featured um, the female characters from the Star Wars franchise, um, from the whole Star Wars universe, if you like. Um, and I think there was a total of uh, 20, there were 32 episodes uh, produced over two seasons. Um, and the uh, stars that have been in the movies voiced the characters from the Forces of Destiny. So the, the figure we're looking at today is Ray of Jakku. Um, and this figure was voiced by Daisy Ridley, um, who played Ray in the movies. And also um, the, the actual whole features of the character is all based on Daisy Ridley. OK, so this is the figure in front of us. As you can see, the figure is a 12 inch figure um, and it, it's sealed in the package. I can't actually take it out and look at that. But let's have a look at what it says on the box. So it says Star Wars Forces of Destiny, Ray of Jakku. Um, and it's age four and up. Warning, choking has a small parts, not for children under three years old. And you've got the Hasbro and the Disney logo uh, on the bottom right-hand corner. Um, okay, so that's the front. Let's turn the card around and see what's on the back. So on the back, it says Star Wars Forces of Destiny. It says Ray of Jakku. Uh, she is brave, true to her friends, and stand up for what she believes in. Uh, swing staff. Uh, and it shows you, okay, so if you squeeze her legs, she swings her staff by the looks of it. Um, just as it shows you on here. So she's hold, holding the staff, squeeze her legs, and she swings it. Um, and it says um, product and colours may vary. You've got all the copyright information, the licensing agreement, and the warning logos at the bottom. Uh, Disney Hasbro logo. Um, and it says includes adventure figure, staff, belt with bag, um, shirt, draped top, pair of shoes, two arm wraps, bracelet and backpack. Uh, so that's all the accessories that come with the figure. Um, and there's also other figures in the same series. You've got Jin Erso and you've got Sabine Wren. Uh, as it says also available and each sold separately subject to availability. Okay, so that is the back of the card. So let's turn the... the uh, pack back round and have a look at the figure itself okay so i've zoomed right in on the figure itself and there you can see she does look like daisy ridley um as she appeared in the um false awakens very nice likeness i think even though obviously it's a, a animated version of her so the, the the facial features are based on the animation rather than actually Daisy Ridley herself, although the animation was based on Daisy Ridley herself. So, yeah, a little bit complicated. Uh, and just behind Ray to the right hand, to her left hand side, as we're looking, at, looking on, or to our left hand side, her right hand side, you can see again it shows you how she swings her staff. So, put staff in hand and squeeze her legs, and she will um, swing the staff. Um, you can see the staff beside her, and it's got two handles that her hands sit, sit through and hold on to the staff. Now, she does come in all fabric clothes. Um, she is dressed in her Jakku outfit, as I say, with her uh, armlets, um, blouse, uh, and trousers and boots, as it said on the back of the box. Um, and she also comes with her bag, a collector's bag, which she walks around with. Um, and obviously that big staff on the side there. So let's uh, let's measure the figure. So we are looking at uh, yeah, thirty centimeters tall from top to bottom, uh, which is twelve inches. Width-wise, we're looking at about nine centimeters across, and depth-wise, we're looking at again about four centimeters deep. So a nice size figure, and I do think the figures are very good. The articulation on these are not fantastic. So you can see, so you've got the movement of the head. You've got the shoulders. I don't think there's any arm movements there. Um, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is. A, a, I can't see properly because of the, the armlets uh, that she's wearing. 
um, and the the legs again I don't think there's any articulation on the knee joints but there certainly is at the tops of the legs but when, again when you squeeze them together she's going to swing her arms anyway so there can't be too much articulation when they've got movement like that incorporated into the figure um, so how well did these do well I hate to say it but they really didn't do that well which is a shame because these figures are I think they're really, really well done. Um, the actual features and the, 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 the moulding, the casting of the face, the sculpting of the face, the freckles on her face, the hair. I mean, they're really done well. I mean, these, these figures are more dolls, really, than action figures, I have to say. Um, but the, they are, I, I, I do think that they are very, very well done. It's a shame that these figures, they just didn't sell very well. Maybe that's because the Forces of Destiny was originally a, 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 an internet um, series before it, it, it did air, air on the Disney Channel, um, but sometime after the initial airing on the internet. Um, so, obviously, if it was on mainstream TV, um, I'm sure it, these would have had a... A massive response the figures would have sold left right and center but they just didn't sell very well and i can remember going to the shops and seeing these forces of destinies figures all over toys r us and they just was not selling so i don't understand the reason for it other than the fact that the series was not that big not that popular not that well advertised so there we go However, now we're talking nearly 10 years on, um, 2016, well, eight years on, these figures are now getting quite collectible. Um, and they are, well, I would say they're difficult to find, but they're certainly not as easy as they used to be. I mean, you used to be able to pick these up for tuppence, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, but now they're, obviously, they're becoming, going into that collectible bracket, um, and they are beginning to demand higher prices. So um, they do pop up on the, the um, platforms fairly regularly at the moment. Um, not as regular as they did, but they are still coming up fairly regularly. Um, but I don't think that's going to go on for much longer because the, the figures have got to run out. Um, and, um, yeah, and then that'd be it. The, 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 the prices will skyrocket um, and they'd be even more collectible uh, or, or as collectible as the, old, as the Power of the Force 12-inch figures are and so on. But, uh, but there we are. So becoming less frequently, um, less frequent to find. However, as you know, we at Minus Touch have managed to find quite a few of these figures. And they're currently available to purchase on the Minus Touch website, which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It takes you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage Star Wars items and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website there will be something for everybody and i'm absolutely positive that you're not going to want to miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis so if there's something in particular you are looking for something old that you've never been able to find something quirky you might want to buy for a friend or maybe just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again next time.